welcome back to Hyrule Lux, where luxury and style are attainable. We're doing a get ready with me today. I don't think I've ever done a, just a plain get ready with me video. Let me know if you want to see more of this. We're just going to get ready for a date, basically. It's Friday. Sorry, text. But it's Friday. I mean, Josh going on a date tonight. And I'm just going to get ready for like the day and then just keep the outfit on for the night and change the shoes. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to touch up our hair. This is the after. If you're wondering, this is the after. This is what you have to look forward to. Uh, but we are going to do skincare because I haven't showed that in a while, uh, shared that in a while. We're going to do um, touch up my hair because um, it's like second day hair. Um, we're going to do makeup, of course, and then a stunning outfit. This video is in partnership with Saks. So my outfit, the shoes, the bag, everything is available at Saks. I will link everything. I'll link everything in the video down below. Um, but this video is in partnership with them. So thank you to Saks for sponsoring this video. And yeah, the outfit, the bag, so many goodies, the shoes, wait till you see the shoes. They're all from Saks. So again, everything will be linked below and let's get into this video. I'll give you like a little preview of the outfit. It's hanging, it'll be hanging on a rack. I'll give you a little preview. Um, it's Zimmerman. I love it. Saks has an amazing selection of Zimmerman pieces, but just contemporary brands in general. So yeah, I think that's everything. Let's get into the video. We're starting with skincare. Okay, bye. All right, we are in the bathroom. We're gonna quickly do our skincare. I feel like I definitely haven't went over skincare in a while. And I'm basically just doing like the bare minimum basics today because I have a little skin issue. I don't have them often, but I do have them. Um, and I did it to myself. Honestly, it's, I'm so disturbed by it. Um, I was trying a new product that has some acid in it. And then I was doing my regular routine and I scrubbed my face and then I put the acid on. And so basically like this whole section of my face has been like completely filled with like bumps and it was so itchy. I did it like three days ago. So it's almost clear now, but it's still like a really rough texture. Um, so anytime I have like a skin issue or just I'm unsure like what the problem is, I just try to like strip away <laughs> any unnecessary products or extra products and go through the basics, just do the basics. So. That's what we'll be doing today. Also, this robe is from, I'll put it on the screen, I think it's Kai Collective, pretty sure. Um, it's a black owned brand and it's so cute, um, super comfy. I just have it pulled down on my shoulders just because I'm gonna be doing like my neck and all that for skincare. So yeah, let's get into, um, first up, I did already um, wash my face just to like Speed this up a little bit um, but I always use this it's the Ole Henriksen truth juice daily cleanser um, it's not too stripping it just feels good to me I have dry skin I have eczema um, so it just feels like it's cleansing if I want to go deeper I'll do something else in addition to this but this is just a good like every day um, the style and beauty doctor told me about this if you don't follow her make sure you do but um, and then as soon as I'm finished washing my face, I always spread this Olay Mist. I think this might be getting discontinued. I had to order it off of Amazon and I haven't seen it in any stores lately. Um, but this is great just to add some hydration. This one is literally Ultimate Hydration Essence is what it's called. Um, but I just, it's a good step before you put anything else on. Like if you're like me and your skin just, again, gets super dry when you wash your face. Um, I also like this if I'm washing my face in the morning and then I'm going to go work out. I don't want to do like my whole skincare cause I'm just going to wash my face again, but I need something. So usually I'll just spray this and then go work out. So I always spray this. So let's do that. And it's, it is just like the perfect mister i don't know what they did but it's just like the part i mean you saw it just like streams over your face so lightly but like you can also you can feel it, it smells good I, I i hope maybe they're just changing the like packaging or something because this is like one of my favorite products um a product i'm not going to use right now because i have this issue but i do want to talk about because i love it is the dermalogica daily micro exfoliant jackie ina put me on to this um, not like personally she just talked about it um, and i love this um, but this is a product i used in conjunction with something else that i was trying out and they did not mix but this is this is great on its own i usually use this um, you can use it every day and honestly it's not super harsh i just shouldn't use the other product <laughs> the same like at the same time 
Um, but this is amazing. I love it. It's just like a little powder. Put water in your hands, put this, and it's a good like light exfoliation. So I'm not gonna do it right now. I usually will do it at night, but it does say you can use it day and night. Um, but I usually just do it at night. But I love this. I just wanted to share it because um, it's one of the things that I would typically, even in my bare bones, would use. But right now, I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, for eye cream, I always use the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I've used it for at least two or three years. Um, I used to have dark circles. I don't anymore. I just, I swear by this. It's just like, she's that girl for me. Um, and this is a day cream. Like I, I have a different one that I use at night. Um, this has vitamin C in it. So, so it does help like brighten and it just feels amazing. It feels oh, so good. Next up, I told you we're keeping it simple. Next up is a face oil. Um, this is the CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. It also has vitamin C. That's pretty much like my go-to for all of my day products. So, just gonna put this all over. And again, most of the products I use um, treat the issues I have. Obviously, that's what you should look for. Like everything is not gonna work for everybody. Um, but for me, I have a lot of discoloration. Like you can even see on my neck, like it's light here, dark here. Um, oh, that was my stomach growling. <laughs> oh, it's light here, kind of dark here, kind of dark here. So I'm really focused on getting as even of a skin tone as possible. So that's mainly the products um, that I use. And I'm gonna put a little extra oil today because I'm going to um, gua sha. I don't know if I've ever showed that, but I love doing it, especially if I'm about to be on camera or like go out. Um, so, and I don't think I've ever talked about it. So I wanted to share it. This is my um, little tool. I got it from Sephora. Um, and I basically just do my chin and here, like my jawline and my cheeks. So I'll do one side and just let you see the difference. Um, but you are supposed to like have something slick on your face. And I don't do it that long either, but. Um, I usually would do this at night, but I felt like I'll just do it today and show you. Cause I don't think I've ever shown it before. I don't know how long you're supposed to do it. I'm not claiming to be an expert, but <laughs> just sharing with you um, what I do. So that's probably as long as I would do. And that is that. Can you see it? Like you can see this side of my face is like a little higher. I'm gonna do the other side. Now we're done with our gua sha. And then the last thing I do is put on sunscreen. So I oh, I absolutely love this one, Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. Um, of course, it's important to wear SPF, but I also really like just the texture of it. Like it is the most hydrating um, SPF I've ever tried. Um, so when I use this, I don't have to put on a moisturizer on top of it, which I like. It just, again, saves me a step. Um, because also when I do my makeup, I'm gonna put on, you know, my primer and stuff. So it's just one less thing um, to layer on my face. One less thing to layer on. Mm. Yeah, we'll use body sunscreen for the rest of our body. That is that, shining bright like a diamond, which is the goal. And then just a little chapstick. I use the Bite Beauty Agave Intensive Lip Mask. It says it's a lip mask, I just use it. Usually in the morning, I use it at night, and usually in the morning so that by the time I'm gonna do my makeup or put anything else on my lips, it's kind of like soaked in. But if I don't do anything, any makeup or anything, I'll just use this all day. Feels so good. If you don't like super thick masks or like lip products, then you won't like this. Everything I use, it's like extra thick, rich, creamy. So keep that in mind. I have dry skin. So I'm just trying to like lather on all the goodness. 
Oh, also, so that's all the skincare. That's it. That's all I use. Oh, I forgot to talk about this. This is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. So this is always my first step in everything. Sorry, I did it before I turned the camera on, but I did leave it out so I didn't forget. Um, and I just put it like on a, you can put it on a towel, cleansing um, wipe, um, a cotton pad, whatever works for you. Uh, but I love this. This is like, for me, this is like my pre-cleanse. Um, or again, like when I'm gonna go work out, I will wipe my face down with this and then spray this on and I feel like awake, I feel clean, got all the crust out of my eyes. Um, and, then, and then if I have on makeup and I'm taking it off at night, this is what I'll take it off with. So I'll do this and then I'll clean my face, like wash it. So, almost forgot that. And then I am still doing my own nails. <laughs> um, I always hated going to the nail shop um, pre, you know, panoramic. I just feel, I always call it nail jail. I just hate being unproductive. I hate having to drive somewhere, sit somewhere, and not be able to do anything else, just get my nails done. I know I should consider it like a form of self-care, but I just feel like it's just so unproductive and a waste of my time. So I'm still doing my own nails. Um, and these are my favorites. I get a lot of questions about the color that I wear. It is the Essie Express Quick Dry Nail Color. And the color is Express to Impress. And I swear I've been using this for like three three months at least. Like I cannot pick another color. Like I love it so much. It's the perfect green. It's almost like a neutrally pastel-y. Um, and then I use this Sech V Dry Fast Top Coat. I'm pretty sure I got both of these at Target. But the combo is great. It lasts a couple days. I usually will do, it's Friday. So I usually will like polish my nails Friday. They'll last until like Monday or Tuesday. And then if I have something to film, I'll do it Monday or Tuesday for the week, so. And then this Sally Hansen um, Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil you will also use. So let's go polish our nails. And then um, we'll do our makeup and then our hair. Now my hair is pretty much done. Like I just took my scarf off, but I do wanna like curl a few pieces and then I'll go over like the products I use. If you want a full um, video of me doing my hair, like the entire process start to finish, I'll link it below because I do already have that on my channel. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's grab all of our things. Let's go. are done now we're gonna beat our face um i'm not gonna talk through this because i cannot i'm just not that talented people that can like talk into their makeup i i'm not her but i have plenty of makeup videos if you want like a detailed very very detailed <laughs> makeup video um i have a whole beauty playlist on my channel so yeah, we're gonna just do, I am trying some new products. So let me talk about those because everything else is the same. Um, you guys know I always use like the Bobbi Brown skin, like the bases as far as primer, um, Bobbi Brown blush, or not blush, Bobbi Brown um, bronzer. I use NARS concealers. I use, um, what is this, Benefit brow products. That's pretty much it. But I'm gonna try a new foundation today so I can tell you how that is. Um, Valentino Beauty is just like coming out with makeup, I believe. Um, but they sent me a few things to try, so we're gonna try them. Um, I have their foundation, which is uh, Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. I tried it on my hand, the color looked amazing. So we'll see how that goes and it'll be like a good little way to test it out and see if I like it. Um, so yeah. I'm in the color DA4. That's what it looks like. Super pretty. I'm also going to try this little eyeshadow palette from them. How cute is that? Um, but the outfit I'm wearing is like like a lot pinks, pinkish. So I wanted to try like basically all these colors. I might do like that color in the crease. 
and then this on my lid that's a good like blending color um this also has like colors underneath uh, but those aren't really the vibe today but gonna try that i um, also want to try this blush you guys know i've been wearing the orange blush from sephora but i figured i'd try this pink since again going with kind of a pink tone i like to do a, like monochrome looks sometimes so like a pinkish lip a pinkish eyeshadow a pinkish like cheek not too heavy on either of them so it just it just looks nice and then they fit some lipsticks too so i'm gonna try this one which is kind of like a pinky nude which i really like it doesn't look nude there but it's more nude than pink um and it's in the color rosa valentino i think so that's the only new stuff i use fenty powder so you'll still see the process but i'm gonna speed it up play some music watch some youtube okay and then after we'll do um we'll kind of like touch up the hair don't ask me why i do it in this order i don't know um, it um and we're gonna touch up the hair so we're like in my hair bathroom now this is the bathroom that's connected to um my studio behind you and my closet over here so if we open this door <laughs> that's the closet um but i keep it closed so first thing i'm gonna do is put a little um wrong product put a little of this just thermal protector sorry the light isn't like the best in here but hopefully we can make work um i'm gonna put some thermal protector on my hair because i am gonna like not fully curl it but just touch up some of the curls um i very much go for the like 90s vibe of short hair um i like it to look soft be soft um be movable i don't want it to look hard or stiff or it's again it's that effortless vibe my favorite thing i want it to look like you know i just woke up and my hair looks like this basically like everything in life um so all i'm gonna do i feel like i need to cut like sometimes when the shape is off of my hair is because i need to cut a little bit i feel like i need to cut that piece a little um 
I typically wash my hair every week or every other week. And I have to cut it every time I wash it. Let's see, is the light gonna help? It's a little blue, but it's a little better. Um, I have a bunch of different scissors. These are my favorite. Um, they have like those little cones there. So it kind of gives you more of a jagged look. So it's not so perfect. So I'm just gonna cut. Just so we can, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that falls better already. Um, I'm not ever afraid to like cut my hair. It'll grow back. Like when your hair is this short, it grows really quick. So if I mess up, it'll go right back. So these are the flat irons I use. They are super tiny. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you can see. They're super tiny. Um, so I'm just gonna go through literally and just put a few curls. Like my hair is curled, but I like it to look a little more textured. Um, so I'm gonna put like a few little curls and then I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray. Um, I use this, I use a big sexy hairspray and play. I feel like this is the best hairspray because it's made to, um, to like hold your hair but also keep your hair movable. So I never feel, it never feels stiff or crunchy or hard. Um, so I'll spray a little bit of this <laughs> at the end. Um, just so I can like again get that like textured look. I gotta look in the mirror. The other key is this rake comb, some type of rake comb. This side kind of like just gives your hair even more texture. And I kind of just comb my hair kind of like this way. So like this side is coming forward, like either down or across the back. It's coming that way. And then this side is kind of going back. Almost like a wrap kind of because we have our part like kind of on this side. And then I kind of like to emphasize that part. And then I flip my front up um, not always, but especially in the summertime because it's just too hot um, to have like hair all the way down here. So we're out of the bathroom just so we can get better light. Sorry, the light was horrible in there. But here is my hair. Um, these little kind of like gold pieces are just gray hair. Yes, I'm that old. <laughs> um, when I put a rinse on my hair because it's just it's not permanent color, it basically makes the gray hair like blonde. So there's that. <laughs> Um, but this is uh, the hair. Um, I think we can get dressed now. I think that's your hair, nails, our face. Let's put on our outfit. And I think that's it. Yeah, okay. And here is our final look. I'm obsessed. Are you dying? I love it. Sorry about all the mess back there. It's been a process. Um, so this is the full look from Saks. Uh, Zimmerman top and Zimmerman shorts. Um, I absolutely love this outfit. Zimmerman makes just the perfect summer pretty things. Um, I love the shorts. They're just, oh my God, just so easy, cute. Um, this is kind of similar to that white Zimmerman top I have that I wear all the time. Easy, comfortable, um, super feminine. You can wear this um, on the shoulders or off the shoulders. Uh, let me just show you. So it's really cute like that as well. Um, that's probably how I'll wear it right now because uh, I am still working. <laughs> like this is just what I'm gonna wear for the rest of the day um, without any shoes because I'm just gonna be at home. And then I'm gonna put these heels on tonight when we go out for date night. Um, I got this stowed bag, the like tiny, tiny mini moon bag. I also have this in black in the regular size. So I thought this would be just like the perfect little accessory. I don't need much, we won't be out that long. And then the shoes. I mean, I've already shown like a little clip of them, but they are stunning. Ah, oh, look at the sparkle. Let me get close. Look at them. Look how good they look. Perfect little nude. They're actually very, um, they're actually very dressy, 
but I, but also like kind of perfect. Like why why not? Great alternative to a clear heel. <laughs> Just a little sparkle, a little extra. So yeah, I'm gonna put these obviously back on later and just work barefoot. I need to do like some emails. I need to do, I'll probably do like some reels. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a sunglass reel so I can keep this on. Um, but yeah, this is the look. It's all available at Saks. Oh, someone's texting me. I love how the pink, you see the monochrome? Like all the pink, it just pops even more because our outfit has pink. You could also, if you wanna be a little more bold, do a red lip because it's like red flowers and pink oh look at the deep look at the detail god i might need to take a picture but yeah this is the look also let me know if you want to see more videos like this if we like the get ready with me i don't know if i've ever done one like just that's it in the video just us getting ready without like a vlog of the rest of the day so let me know which one you prefer or if you just like the style um yeah of course this outfit will be linked below it's available at Saks. I think that's everything. Yeah. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. Mm -hmm.